Hey everybody, welcome back. You know what time it is, it's my favorite day of the week. New Comic Wednesday, January 29th, 2020. I'm Tony Varela, your host and my co-host here. This is Yogi, and you're watching Comic TV. I'm about to show you some really nice hot comics, varying covers. I got a great mail call to show you as well, so stay tuned till the end. And uh, don't forget, I got a, uh, a preview video. It says January previews, but it's for March comics. So if you want to see all the comics I'm going to be going after upcoming and you want to get your chance at, chance at those as well, make sure you check that video out and like and subscribe it as well because we put in a lot of work on that video and we'll have another previews coming out for you today. Excuse me, not today. The previews came out today. Hopefully within the next three days, I'll have it out to you as quick as possible. So. Without any further ado, from Boom Studios, we got Something is Killing the Children. This is one of my favorite titles, period, across all, all formats. Uh, Marvel, DC, Independence, this book is dope. James Tinian's doing a great job on the writing. We got Weather Della Dara doing the art as well as the cover. And man, I just can't recommend this book highly enough. It is so good. Oh, you're getting some kisses from Yogi. Oh man, love this little guy. Next up from Dynamite Comic, we got Kiss Zombies number three. Ethan Sachs, a quality writer, and we got uh, Rodney Buscemi doing the art. And the reason I got this book is the Arthur Sudiam cover, and he'll have the full band coming out in zombie form. I'm just getting the Ace Freely and the Gene Simmons. Woo! Next up, we got Ice Cream Man number 17 from Image Comics. This uh, title's got a lot of hype, but uh, I haven't enjoyed it as much as most people. I strictly got it for this Marazzo Action Comics number one homage, but Maxwell Prince is doing the writing on this title. Martin Marazzo does the interior arts, and uh, definitely a hot book. Another hot book. I've been telling you about this one for a long time. Philadelphia number three, also from Image. Rodney Barnes is doing a badass job on the writing, and Jason Sean's Alexander's art is sick he does the cover a on this as well check it out next up from action comics we got 1019 written by brian michael bendis and john ramita jr is doing the art i much prefer his dad's art but he's okay and uh but that perillo cover is dope and uh the story on this book's been pretty good as well so this book came out last week this is aquaman number 56 uh, I strictly got it from the for the Scon cover. Uh, when DeConnick and Robson Roca are not on this book, I feel it suffers. This is sort of a, uh, a look back. It's not even current events happening, so it's kind of stalling until the birth of the Aqua Baby. We got Kyle Higgins doing the writing on that, and Aaron Lopresti doing the art. Make sure you check out that next book, though. That Aqua Baby should be a hot issue. So lastly, from DC, this is DC Black. We got Last God number four. Philip Kennedy Johnson's doing the writing on this, and Ricardo Federici's art is absolutely amazing. And they're giving us some really nice Kai Carpenter covers as well. That book's been really great. The story on that is beautiful, and you cannot ask for better pencils than what Tedesco or Steven Federici has given you. Marvel is bringing you Avengers number 30. Jason Aaron always doing a great job on the writing. We got Ed McGinnis doing the art. I don't normally buy this book, but we got a Miko Suyan uh, cover and a new star brand, a star brand baby. What's up with all the babies? The babies coming out. Next up, we got Conan the Barbarian, also written by Jason Aaron. Aaron. Um, Mahmood Azrar's art pairs perfectly with Aaron's writing style and they're giving us these really dope Assad Ribbit covers. Now we got Deadpool of the End. Uh, this is by Joe Kelly doing the writing, Mike Hawthorne doing the art, and this is a Raza cover. And Raza did several covers for these end one shots. He did the Captain Marvel, the Captain America, and the Doctor Strange that all came out today, but I'm not really loving these, but I couldn't pass up this Deadpool Raza cover. And uh, Raza is definitely one of my favorite artists. Next up, we got Fallen Angels number six. Brian Hill is doing a great job on this book. He's doing the writing. Simon Kudransky's art is dark and gritty, and we're getting some nice Ashley Witter covers. There was also a Jung Young Yoon uh, Dark Phoenix 40th anniversary cover that was kind of sexy, uh, but Wolverine just looked kind of weird, and so I just got with, went with the regular cover. And like I've said, all things equal, I'll go with the regular cover, unless the variant is really special in my opinion. 
Immortal Hulk number 30, Al Ewing and Joe Bennett have been killing on this title for the longest and we're getting spoiled by these Alex Ross covers. There was also a Mike Del Mundo Marvel X variant that looked pretty cool as well, but not cool enough to pass up that Alex Ross. Uh, next up, we got Thor number two, Donnie Cates, the darling of Marvel doing the writing on that. We got Nick Klein doing the art, and that is the Klein character design variant. There was also an M. Hyuk Lee variant, as well as the regular cover, which was nice, uh, but my store ran out of regular cover, so I wasn't too too disappointed in this, this variant. Uh, next up, we got Weapons Plus number one. Benjamin Percy's doing the writing on this, and he's been killing it on x so I'm excited to see how he does on this title. We got George Jonti doing the art, and that is the Kyle Hot cover, and I also got the scan variant as well. So uh, this is the first manslaughter and the origin of the Weapons 4 program, so I'm really looking forward to that. And then next up, as I told you, Benjamin Percy's doing the writing on x -Force. Steven Segovia is killing it on the art. I'm loving this book. It's my favorite X book right now. Uh, Dustin Weaver does the cover on this one, and there's supposed to be some vegetable substance that is acting as an assassin. So I don't know if we got a, a killer cucumber or a pickle rick or what's going on with that, but first appearance, I was gonna grab that title anyway. X-Men number five, written by Jonathan Hickman. He's just killing this title, man. Really brought the X-Men back. R.B. Silva is guest drawing for Lionel Francis U, and I'm excited about that because Silva is top notch. We got a Lionel Francis U cover though, and uh, a couple of titles that I left or wasn't able to get, the Avengers Wasteland, I'll be showing you that one, I don't know why, but I left it on the shelf on accident. And then there was also an Apocalypse Girl number one that had a really nice cover. Uh, there was a Ravencroft, Ryan Brown one in 25 variant, but I'm not loving that title. I do love Ryan Brown. If I can get that book at a good price, I will. And then Tarot number two has a 1 in 50 in Hyuk Lee cover, but that title is not good, so I'm not going to shell out for a 1 in 50 on that. Uh, Justice League Dark had a Zafino cover. It wasn't his best cover, and uh, I'm off Justice League Dark, so I didn't grab that one. And then there was a Dave Raposa Edge of Spider-Verse number four that I almost grabbed, but the interior art was just not good enough to make the cut. So uh, before we go, I'm going to show you some books that I got in the mail. I got this J. Scott Campbell. This is the covered G, oh my lord. Let me fix that for you. This is the cover D from his website, and that is the playing card Joker Harley. Absolutely love that book. And then uh, Jung Young Yoon, one of my favorite new artists. Loving his style, really dark. I love his uh, his bordering, his outlines. And then, you know how I feel about Shannon Meyer, and this guy's work is awesome. This is a Critters number three. That one's pretty hard to find. You don't see that one very often. And then, uh, I told you I'd be getting my Wonder Woman 750s coming in the mail, and Art Germ, this is the regular cover. There was a 50s variant of that that looked really good, but you had to buy all three or four covers to get it, and, and I wasn't doing that, but man, Art Germ, killing it, bro. And uh, lastly, this is one of those hidden gem Mike Zek Punisher variants. This is for the number four. I believe that's a one in 100 variant. And I love me some Mike Zek. You can tell I love to show off my tattoo. That is after the Punisher number one. So that's all I got for you. Hey, don't uh, forget to look down, hit that like button. Please subscribe, uh, hit your notification bell so you get notified as soon as I pop this video up. You can see all the comics that came out as soon as possible. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.